The Parliamentary and Municipal Elections Act 1872, also known as the Ballot Act, was a major milestone in the development of free and fair elections in the UK. Until 1872, elections took place by way of a show of hands or a public declaration. Such a system was open to intimidation and bribery, as concluded by a House of Commons Select Committee in 1870. In some municipal elections, it reported, many voters would not vote unless paid, sometimes in drink rather than cash, and rioting took place on polling day. The committee recommended instead the secret ballot, along with the closing of public houses on polling days as a way of promoting the tranquility of elections, but also to protect voters from undue influence. The secret ballot had also been one of the main demands of the Chartists in the 1830s and 1840s. Here at the People's History Museum, as part of the Disrupt Peter Lewin protest exhibition, we can see one of the first ballot boxes ever to be used. This ballot box, now owned by Wakefield Council, was used in the first parliamentary election held after the passing of the Ballot Act in a by-election in Pontefract, West Yorkshire, on the 15th of August 1872. It is made of painted wood and iron alloy and is still marked with the seals used to ensure the votes were not tampered with. The seals were actually made with a licorice stamp, the same used to make Pontefract cakes in a local sweet factory. The Times newspaper reported that the first election under the Ballot Act has been thoroughly peaceful. Persons of great experience declare that they never saw a contested election in which less intoxicating liquor was drunk. No charges of bribery are rife and the election appears to have been fought on both sides on principles of purity. Hugh Childers, the Liberal Party candidate, was duly elected and the secret ballot has continued to be a feature of our elections to this day.